Welcome learners. I think you've missed English for some time in P4. So I'm here to take you through from where we stopped. Last time we looked at the verbs, we looked at the, the what the verb is and looked at the types of verbs. And we said we have two. You remember we said we have regular and then we have the irregular. So we handled the regular part of the verbs. We looked at those verbs that add D and those ones that add ED. So today we are looking at another category of verbs that add ED. But this time, this category is very unique in that it is having Y on it. We looked at those verbs still that have Y preceded by a vowel and we said those ones we just add ED. For example, the verb play, the verb pray, the verb employ, the verb deploy. We said those ones, since they are preceded by a vowel, Y is preceded by a vowel, we just add ED. Now, today we're looking at the verbs that end with Y. But in this particular case, this Y is preceded by a consonant. So these ones, we drop letter Y. Or we change letter Y to, letter y to I, and then we put E, D. For example, in the case of the word cry, R is a vowel. Sorry, R is a consonant. What are we doing? We are dropping Y, and then we add it. I E D in the past simple and then in the past participle tense. In this case, what I've done, I've used the word, the, I've given you the, word, the words in the past simple. And what we're going to do this time is just change, just transfer this cried to the past participle. And then we shall say, this is it, cried in that case. So the past simple and the past participle is the same. That's why you see here I've not filled the gap. That means you're going to read dirty, dirtied, then dirtied at the end. Bury, buried, then buried. But in this case of the word bury, most of you have a problem where you, you double the letter R. In this case, letter R is not doubled in the word bury. It is single R. So don't make any mistake of writing the word bury with R, R. So the word bury, it goes for buried, then buried. We have very many of these verbs. So when you go, you have to make research, make a full list of these verbs, and then you fill the past simple and then the past participle of these verbs. So, in this case, we have come and we are going to try out the activity. In this case, for the activity, you know, we looked at the categories, three of them so far. So this activity here, you'll find that it is having the verbs that have R, Y, the verbs that have A, and where we have D, and where we have to add E, e D. So in this activity, don't reach a sentence. For example, you reach a sentence on number five, and you say, ah, but here the teacher did not teach today the verbs that add e, that had E, D. Yes, but it was taught previously. So this is like a review. We cannot just handle one and then we forget the other. So we keep on reminding ourselves. That's why in the activity you will meet, you'll have to find out which very word is exactly needed. Which change do we need to put in these gaps? For example, the activity is telling us, use the correct form of the word given in the brackets. So you read and then you understand. If it is play, we said play is Y preceded by a vowel. That means this, this word here, this verb here, we don't drop. What we do is we just add ED. 
and we have very many of this category as we looked at them last time. So this time we have just put a review of certain verbs. For example, when you reach number eight, somebody may get confused. And but number eight is not having why. But remember, we learned about these ones where we are adding letter D. So what are we doing here? We are adding D. The sentence is that family dash in London for eight years. And the word in bracket is leave. Don't get confused and ask your neighbor, ask your mommy. But mommy, where is letter Y in this word? Yes, it is not there, but we learned about these ones where we add D alone. So you have to know that this word leave, it is simply adding letter D. Yes. So whenever we are handling verbs, in order not to get you very confused, to make you very, very confused with very, very many verbs, what do we do? We handle a category, we handle an activity, then when we come back, we go through the activity, and then we shall go to another category of regular verbs. So today, I'm not going to pack you so much with the work. I just want you to do this activity. When I come back, we go through this, and then we jump onto another category of these verbs. Thank you very much.